Celebrities most sensitive secrets tend to deal with diseases or illnesses, with a lot of stars wanting to keep their ailments away from the public eye in order to battle their condition like any human would want to, privately. However, on the other hand celebrities have a platform not many of us do, and it's important to raise awareness and get the message out about screenings and testings that could prevent certain illnesses. So today on Top 10 Beyond the Screen I'm going to be counting down our list of the top 10 celebrities with chronic illnesses. Part 3. Let's jump in. Coming in at 10, Tom Hanks, Diabetes. Tom Hanks is one of the most famous actors in cinematic history, having won multiple Oscars and Golden Globes throughout his long career. It is hard for him to keep anything out of the public eye, which was why it was such a shock to fans when we learned back in 2013 that he had been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. According to the actor, when he was diagnosed, the doctor told him, I quote, You know those high blood sugar numbers you've been dealing with since you were 36? Well, you've graduated. You've got type 2 diabetes, young man. Tom also went on to state that despite not being consistently heavy, gaining and losing large amounts of weight for film roles is likely to have been a factor. He also stated that when he needed to gain weight for roles, he was living on junk food and taking very little exercise. Not a good move. Coming in at 9, Gene Wilder, Alzheimer's and Lymphoma. Gene Wilder was a beloved actor who sadly passed away on August 29, 2016, at the age of 83. He was known for iconic films such as Young Frankenstein, The Producers and Blazing Saddles, but no role will ever be as iconic as Willy Wonka in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory back in 1971. Now prior to his death, Wilder had retreated away from the public eye, with the large majority of people having no idea whatsoever that he was battling Alzheimer's and lymphoma. Before he passed away, he explained that he kept his illnesses secret from the public so that if kids saw him and pointed him out as Willy Wonka, he wouldn't have to trouble them. He wanted to keep the fantasy alive. Coming in at 8, David Bowie, Liver Cancer. When legendary singer and actor David Bowie passed away on January 10th, 2016, it was a shock to the entire world, with music fans being especially surprised, mostly because no one knew Bowie was even sick. Just two days after his 69th birthday and the release of the album Black Star, Bowie passed away from liver cancer in his New York City apartment. He had been diagnosed 18 months earlier with cancer but had not made the the news of his sickness public. He did this because, to quote the legend himself, he wanted to go without any fuss. Following Bowie's death, fans gathered at street shrines and at Bowie's birthplace of Brixton, South London, where a mural is placed that shows him in his Aladdin Sane character. Coming at 7, Brett Michaels, Heart Disease. Brett Michaels is best known for being the lead singer of the glam metal band Poison, who have sold over 40 million records worldwide and 15 million records in the United States alone. In 2010, however, Brett Michaels suffered a mini stroke caused by a hole in his heart. Mini strokes are typically caused by a blood clot, according to the American Stroke Association. To repair the hole in his heart, doctors inserted a catheter into a vein in Michaels' groin and guided a device up into his heart, where it will stay permanently to stop abnormal blood flow between the two chambers of the heart. Without treatment, the singer could have been at risk for developing blood clots and having another stroke. Statistics show that 700 95,000 Americans suffer from a stroke each year. However, the difference between a stroke and a mini stroke is that a mini stroke's blockage of blood flow to the brain is temporary, leaving no permanent damage. Coming at 6, Aaron Carter, Hiatal Hernia. Former teenage sensation Aaron Carter, known for music such as I Want Candy, Aaron's Party, and I'm All About You, is another celebrity on our list who sadly suffers from a chronic illness. The former singer revealed that he was diagnosed with a hiatal hernia. For those who don't know, a hiatal hernia occurs when the upper part of your stomach bulges through the large muscle separating your abdomen and your chest. Now, because of this, Aaron's appetite is affected, which in turn leaves him malnourished and restricts him from gaining weight. Coming in at 5, Seal Discoid Lupus Erythematosus. Arguably one of the world's greatest singers, Seal is known for hits such as Kiss from a Rose, Stand By Me, Crazy, and Fly Like an Eagle. He is an incredible artist and a trailblazer in the soul and R&B genre. Now, Seal is known for his music, yes, but he's also known for the very unique scars he has on his face. Now, this is actually a result of a severe form of lupus that causes intense inflammation and skin lesions around the neck, 
face and skull. Coming in at 4, George Clooney Chronic Pain. Hollywood royalty George Clooney is famous for starring in some of the most critically acclaimed movies, including The Ides of March, Up in the Air, Michael Clayton, The Descendants, Ocean's Eleven, and Burn After Reading. However, did you know George Clooney suffers from chronic pain? According to reports, it all started back in 2005 after the actor sustained serious injuries on the set of Syriana. While filming a scene in which his character was being tortured, Clooney fell off a chair and split open his head. However, the injury was much worse than he initially thought. Clooney later learned that he had torn his dura, the outer layer around his spinal cord, and fluid was leaking out. He went on to have surgery on Christmas Day in 2005, but he's battled chronic pain ever since. Coming in at 3, Gabrielle Union Adenomyosis. Gabrielle Union is best known for starring in films such as Bring It On, Bad Boys 2, 10 Things I Hate About You, and She's All That. However, this popular actress revealed a few years back that she was diagnosed with adenomyosis. For those who don't know, adenomyosis is a condition in which the inner lining of the uterus breaks through the muscle wall of the uterus. It can cause menstrual cramps, lower abdominal pressure, and bloating before periods, and can result in heavier periods. Now, the condition is quite common and is often diagnosed in middle aged women and women who have had children. Some studies also suggest that women who have had prior uterine surgery may be at risk for the condition. Speaking at the blog Her Conference in New York City, Gabrielle Union said, I quote, Towards the end of my fertility journey, I finally got some answers because everyone said, You're a career woman. You prioritized your career. You waited too long and now you're just too old to have a kid. And that's on you for wanting a career. The reality is, I actually have adenomyosis. However, after multiple miscarriages and many rounds of IVF, Union had a baby via a surrogate last year. Coming in at 2, Hugh Jackman Skin Cancer. In 2013, Hollywood actor Hugh Jackman posted a photo to social media that showed him with a large bandage affixed to his nose, with a caption that read, I quote, An example of what happens when you don't wear sunscreen. They sell cell, the mildest form of cancer, but serious nonetheless. Please use sunscreen and get regular checkups. Basal cell carcinoma is an uncontrolled growth which can look like an open sore or red patch, or even appear as a shiny bump or scar. According to some reports, this type of cancer is usually caused by a combination of cumulative and intense occasional sun exposure. Since his initial diagnosis, he's been treated five times and had cancerous cells removed from his nose and shoulder. However, what makes Jackman an absolutely incredible actor and a man of his art is that during the pitch for The Greatest Showman, Jackman was advised by Dr to not sing, because there was a chance his stitches in his nose might tear. However, once in the room and once the music began to play, Jackman ignored warning signs and sang nonetheless, and in turn got the movie greenlit. And finally coming in at number 1, Angelina Jolie BRCA. Hollywood royalty Angelina Jolie is a fan favourite and has been throughout the majority of her career. She is known for works such as Girl Interrupted, Maleficent, Changeling, Lara Croft and The Bone Collector. Unfortunately, Jolie is yet another actress on our list who suffers from a chronic illness. On February 16, 2013, Jolie underwent a preventive double mastectomy after learning she had an 87% risk of developing breast cancer due to a defective BRCA1 gene. Her maternal family history warranted genetic testing for the mutation. Her mother, actress Marceline Bertrand, had breast cancer and died from ovarian cancer, while her grandmother died from ovarian cancer as well. Following the mastectomy, the actress had reconstructive surgery involving implants and allografts. However, two years later, Later in March 2015, tests revealed possible signs of early ovarian cancer. So Jolie underwent more procedures, this time a preventive salpingo-oophorectomy, as she had a 50% risk of developing ovarian cancer due to the same genetic anomaly. Due to the surgery, this brought on premature menopause. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? Were there any celebrities that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below. Perhaps we can do a part four. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another be on the screen bit. And until next time, see you later.